For this tutorial, we're on white box learning, looking at axles and wheelbase. So what I've done so far is I've created my car where I'm happy with it, um, checking outputs the whole way through, of course. But right now, I want to double check and make sure I'm still in spec. I get outputs, design specifications, and as you can see, I'm slightly, slightly out of mass. And I am under on the bottom of the axle hole above car bottom and the front and the rear. Uh, for this, we'll look at all of these here in axles and wheelbase, but these are the two most common that people are out of spec on. We constantly get questions asking what this means, and like some of the others, it's exactly what it says. The distance from the bottom of the axle hole to the bottom of the car is not enough. So let's take a look at engineering. Uh, for this you want to do a few things. First of all, refine solid. You could leave it on or off, doesn't matter. Turn your axles on if they're not. Turn your wheels off. And let's flip to the side here. So just to point out exactly what they're talking about. So the bottom of the axle hole to the bottom of the car, we need a greater distance. Place to start, lower profile, turn both of these on. Uh, I am going to turn off the refined solid so it's easier to see. So right here, I can move this down. Uh, what I'm going to do, make sure that I have move point selected, and I'm going to drop I'm going to drop both of these points straight down. Okay. Uh, I was out in the front as well. I'm going to make sure that that's clear down too. There we go. And I'm going to tell it done. So those cannot go down any farther. Make sure you like the design here. There's like a little knot here. I don't like that. I want to correct that before I move on. So I'll go back to lower profile again and just make a small minor adjustment which probably the easiest thing for me to do in my case is I'm going to delete this point solves that problem okay so you know let's turn on refined solid looks good to me uh, let's go back and see if that fixed the problem outputs design specifications Okay, so that fixed the rear problem, but not in front. I cannot drag that down any farther, so let me show you what we'll do next. We're going to go back to engineering. This time we're going to go into blank setup. What we need to adjust now is ground clearance. If I want less distance between the bottom of the car and the ground, what that does in turn is moves up the axle hole. So, um, since I'm so close, I'm going to try 9.5. So I want less ground clearance again to move the holes upward, giving me a greater distance between the bottom of the car and the bottom of the axle hole. I'll apply it. Go to done. Let's check our outputs. There we go. I'm in spec. I could stop. I could potentially, you know, if you're still out, take it down a little farther. Try 9. Um, usually 9 fixes any problems. I'd say if you have to go beyond 8.5, see your teacher. Something is probably off. Um, but there we go. In this tutorial, I also would like to show you these few rear axle hole from rear of car and the wheelbase. Space washers, it says manual. Axle clips, it says manual. That means it's not anything to do with this program. You can only physically deal with that when you make your project. But the rear of the axle, I'm sorry, the rear axle hole from the rear of the car and the wheelbase, uh, that we can adjust on here. You'd have to be way out of spec to knock it out, but just to show you in case you are, go to engineering, Blank setup, rear axle position, and wheelbase. Those are what you would need to fix to fix that problem. So just so you know. Uh, otherwise, everything else, again, 
while we're here, make sure you have set up your blank mask to the mask your teacher is giving you. Otherwise, um, that should take care of your problems. Good luck.